Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. So I decided to have a bonus stream for Disgaea since I think we're basically done. But I have to pass a lot of bills. So basically the goal for tonight is to max out the enemy bills, get our last party member or members, plural. And then we got to undo all the enemy bills, which is going to take a while. So I figured a bonus stream would help to just kind of clean some of that up. And then, uh, depending on our pacing, we might do some of the bonus content towards the end. But I'm not going to promise anything, because I know the builds are going to take forever. So, we'll do what we can. Welcome in Parameter. Go ahead and pause Laharl soon. Pause that. Hope you're doing well in Parameter. But yeah, there's a very strong chance we're going to end up with it around level 9,000 if I'm doing... Passing Villa slow like in real life, yeah. Yeah, this is why other versions of this game have uh, little speed-ups. It's a little unfortunate, but hey. We, we've already gotten this far. It shouldn't be more than like another hour and a half, hopefully, to be done with all the bills. We're raising enemy, and then from there, lowering enemy stuff should be more or less automatic, because I think they auto-pass. But we'll see how it goes. But needless to say, even if they try to stop us on every single bill, they can't stop us anymore. I mean, they could try. They can only delay the delay the inevitable, I think as the, as the phrase goes. Oh, look at that. Laharl went up two levels from, I think, bonus XP. I mean, his, his 91 is a little weaker than our 5,809. Little teeny tiny bit. Um, I haven't decided if we need to dive into Testament or something like that to power it up. We could. So, like, in theory, I can move the Gladiator and Coach over to one of the Testaments. So probably the thing with Physician would be the thing that would make sense to do it. Gladiator 66. Or I could technically do it on the one with Defense. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Yeah, if, the, if these double gladiators were stronger, I would have done that one. But yeah, uh... I don't know how high our stats need to be to beat Ball. I think I remember doing it literally just once before. I don't think it was, like, super hard. I definitely did not grind out my equipment. Um, but I don't remember if that was with the super nonsense monsters or not. Wow, I can't believe this character is 20,000 mana. Actually, actually disgusting, chat, how much mana this character has. I mean, I could try to leave Kirk's mana intact if I want to. Technically, if I want to get another... Um, if I want to get another Steam achievement, I need to transmigrate 10 times total. So in theory... I could just take our existing characters and port them over again. I don't think there's a downside to this at this point. I might as well as do it for the achievement. Yeah, that seems fair. I don't really need their mana for anything, and we have so many other... Oh, Parameter's still at rank 1. And we have so many- oh, I mean, the monsters themselves have more mana than the characters that beat the game in the first place. So take that as you will. So I might as well as do an upgrade. On the off chance I could do something with them later. Because it's not like it should be very hard to get back up to level 100, given uh, how ludicrous the enemy levels are. And Parameter might be able to get the Genius one unlocked, which is nice. So Chris will always be a little weaker, but he'll still be way stronger than everything else, so... It'd be fine. But are these things levels boosted? Wait a minute, they're like level 41. Well, that's funny. Not that it matters. Well, I guess it matters in the sense I get bonus mana, but it is kind of funny. I mean, I'm not really threatened by them in any single way, whatsoever. Well, 
Let's wrap up in Parameter, get the Transmigrate for the, the Steam Achievement. I definitely don't need to do this to beat the game. It, this is more just showing off at this point. <laughs> Them being at slower, uh, lower health totals will kind of suck, but we also are probably going to get a stage where bonus XP is going to be a thing. Like, could get them instantly to level 20. So yeah, so hopefully here in Parameter we'll get enough raw mana to get genius level. But either way, both of- oh, psh, don't make a star yourself, that would be stupid. <laughs> that would be a way to lose the, the, re the match, just... Vegas star yourself in the face, GG. Get out, Blade. Okay, so... Oh yeah, definitely can do it. Yeah, so 95 Inheritance, which is insane. I noticed he's only getting one more point than Chris. That means Chris had had overall more Transmigrations than Imperimeter, but Imperimeter is going to make it up by having one point more. Again, that's an insane number of stats per level. That's good. So we'll get Chris's strength back up a little bit. And is there anybody else that should transmigrate? I guess I could do with the Laharl, because his stats also don't matter anymore. I think we could agree. I don't really want to unlock anything with this stuff. I guess I could do shoes, I guess. Are they really going to deny the shoes? Really? Chat, really? Really? <laughs> I mean, like, I could just level in Parameter again here. How dare they deny something so basic? We're not even at, like, the main portion. Ooh, that guy is actually surprisingly high level. Everybody else looking kind of easy and free, though. Yeah, so Parameter just went up like an easy bazillion levels. Uh, I want Rogue 9 to get more XP. I don't think the XP matters on the remaining characters. I could shoot with Calvisha. I don't want to. I'm gonna take care of the high levels and then we'll have Chris just soak up XP. I don't really need him for anything. Oh. I kind of thought I was out of range, to be honest with you. I forgot how long range those attacks were. Then again, does anybody really expect the shopkeeper to know gun? <laughs> I got baited there. Yeah, cannonball is insane range. Oops. Well, that's fine. More XP for this character. As I said before, we'll have chances to level them back up. Yeah, I was like, wow, that was actually... I, no one really... You know, I'm like seven spaces away. I don't think they would hit me. But no, I got hit at like max range. It's fine. Rogue Nine can get some more mana. He's the other character I want to potentially level up. Through transmigrations, just to get it over with. That way we could say we could give his character some love. But he needs mana. Okay. Good. Ooh, didn't quite kill. But fortunately, his stats are decent. In fact, we could probably just pick up a super this weapon for him to make him a little easier for XP. Or more importantly, mana. I mostly just need mana on him. Jerks. Yeah, human characters are mostly irrelevant until I feel like doing story mode. Assuming I want to do more bonus endings. Because, believe it or not, chat, there's like four additional endings we haven't seen. I don't know if we'll do all of them, because some of them are kind of tedious. Like, the one that I'm probably going to skip is the one where we have to defeat an item god. I just don't really know I really want to dive into a hundred floors just to see one ending. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, it just, like, we're gonna beat the game without ever doing any more item world diving, I'm pretty sure. Let alone going through a hundred floors without leaving. Yeah, it's just kind of tedious. 
I don't mind doing, like, the Earth Invasion ending, because at least there's, like, bonus stages involved with that, but the others, I don't think I care, I'll be real with you. Oh, look at La oh, look at Lahoral's stats. He's so far behind, chat. He's so far behind. But at least we made him stronger. But yeah, I don't even think Kirk is Cosmic Hero yet. Oh, Kirk only needs, like, another 800 for it? Ah. Oh. So if he could get, like, one kill, I can make him genius level. I kind of want to wait on Kirk then. Also, I like the rank 1 exam skilled for some reason, but the enemies in the Senate seemingly don't. That's kind of weird. I find that funny more than anything else. Uh, so just so I can rank stuff up, I'm gonna just use this character for, uh, unlocks. I only need a total of, I think, 11,000 plus however many the remaining bills cost. So if this character happens to get more mana, which he probably will, it should be fine. And he'll serve as the character for unlocks. This is also why if you start, like, a new game over, it doesn't really matter if you have characters with mana, because inevitably... This character killing just one Cave of Ordeals map is basically equal to like 30-40 hours of story mode, or more, by himself. So, whatever on this one. At this point, he'll just get more mana for the other things. 20,000 is way more than I'll ever need. But sadly, due to the way the monsters work, if I try to make him into anything, it's just kind of a waste of time. Like, sure, he'll have bonus stats, but it's not like he has any skills that really transfer over outside his own class. So I don't really get any benefit of restarting him at this point. Plus, we don't plan on leveling the uh, uh, hills for the most part. Technically, I could also have Imperameter and Chris do their own promotion exams once the uh, bill is maxed, since that would technically give them a lot of experience in solo fights. Since we've seen it scaled upwards, them being like level 60 apiece is actually pretty good. Because they would still be like reasonable to kill. And then I could take advantage of their SP. Wow, they put each other to sleep. GG. Idiots. Right, Chad? Actually dumb. Yeah, let's see if we can get the Steam achievement. Don't think we need that many more. I'm assuming it counts total ones versus new ones. I think we need one more battle. Yeah, like, these guys are only supposed to be, like, level 40 or something. We definitely have a multiplier going. We did not need to beat level 92 monsters to rank up to fight stronger enemies. That would have been, like, nearly impossible with how we did it earlier. So interesting that that scales. But anyway, more mana for bills. So I have no complaints there. Yeah, so now we should be good. I could improve his counterattacks. That would actually be relevant if I made him solo stuff. And yeah, more more expensive stuff. Purple XP. Oh, a stronger enemy is five? I thought it was four. Huh. Like, oh no. Well, another 300 covers at least his first stronger enemy bill. Not that these enemies can touch him. And maybe I'll hold off on promotion exam for uh, Imperameter and Chris until we get to max enemy bills. Just so we can see how hilariously high level those monsters are. Because keep in mind when we fought them originally, they were like level 10, I think. So they are way stronger than before. Bonk. And eventually this guy needs to go to max... Uh, max rank, just because of the fact that I want him to unlock the other areas. So I guess we'll just do... Is there anybody else that needs an upgrade? Just Kirk's character. Kirk needs to get 700 mana. I think we could do it while in here. I don't think we need to do extra fights for that. We'll do... Oh, there, there, there physically wasn't enough influence to get stronger enemies. That's kind of funny. So one thing that's kind of annoying is that, uh... If the over, if the total number of levels, I think is how influence is calculated, doesn't exceed the price of the bill, you can't attend it. So sometimes it'll be grayed out. If Chad is wondering why that happens. Oh, 
Oh, that actually almost passed at the end. That was actually surprisingly close. Well, I mean, needless to say, this this character is going to earn back his mana. I spent 700. We're probably going to get like 400 or plus back. Let's try to give some kills over to Imperameter and such. Ooh, that's a minus level 44. Oh, that'd be a perfect one for Chris if he could get it. Yeah, I mean, his staff level is still pretty good. I mean, rank 12 is kind of insane. Ooh, that didn't actually kill. Unfortunate. Another level up for that. Let's have Gonna Bite It, who actually has decent levels, pick up Chris's character. Well, a couple of these, that's less annoying. Wow, they didn't even try to go after the, the thrower? Wow, chat. I am shocked, but it's also funny that the thrower lived. Spell, huh? These are going to be difficult to kill without some kind of buff. I think it's time to use uh, Arctic Chaos. Get his magic up over here. Oh, I didn't get level 2s yet. New one parameter. I might as well do this because having characters with higher level with better magic boost slash Braveheart will help later. Although, more specifically, Braveheart. Sure, I'll summon all the mages because who cares? Let's see if we can get a kill here. See how much damage this does. Oh, insane damage, never mind. Hmm. Not quite enough to kill. Gonna, okay, there's no way Chris could get hit from here. I refuse to believe. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Chad? I would have called actual shenanigans if that somehow hit Chris. Alright, so this will give him a big level boost. There we go. Now his in is looking decent. Yeah, like some of these characters only have 700 totals. The fact he's already up to 2400 is kind of funny. There we go. And I'm not even really super interested in necessarily his int per level. I more care about his SP. We're like a quarter of the way of where he was before. I almost thought that said I had another thing to unlock. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing left. Once you qualify for Testament, I think that's the final item you ever receive. I guess we'll just keep doing stronger enemy builds. So you can see, like, I'm almost capped out on the influence at this current rank. So I'll probably need to do another uh, promotion exam. That way we can keep going. Fools. Ryan right, chat, actual fools. But needless to say, Parameter should be fine with Chris for the most part. So I'm not even gonna summon them. Why get why give us a chance of being struck here? Minus 50%. Let's give it to Chris. First thing that happens if Parameter cleans up. And the funny part about all this is, Imperameter and Chris could still get super stabs. Like, we have no point of money. I could just flex. <laughs> like, nothing stops me from just getting a super stab at this point, right? I may have like three mil. We have to clear at least one more stage before I uh, debuff things. So I could just do a normal clear. So on the stronger enemy build, if I combine everybody and then kill them, I think I'll end up at like an insane mana total. There we go. Now their SP is looking pretty good, so if I want to summon them, they should be fine. We know these guys are snipers, so Chris is probably dead. Their range is like stupid, stupid long range. Oh, hey! Didn't die to one of the snipers. Good job. 
I didn't get a kill there, but now Imperameter can clean up. He's a mega star here. Ooh, that guy's actually kind of tanky. I was gonna say, he must be 100 something. Well, sucks to be them. Bonk. Yeah, keep in mind we can also give uh, both of those characters some super equip. I was like, Belial Force is actually pretty good, but I was like, wait a minute. Let's check this out real quick. We could get at least an 800 int weapon. What is the parameter Chris took with? Oh, Chris has a pretty weak staff, actually, compared to where we are. And Parameters is actually really good. Like, the fact that he's competing with, like, an 8 million cost weapon by himself shows, like, how important high rolling is on certain things. Yeah, we need to do another stage. It might... Oh, we actually can do the stronger enemies. I was gonna say, it might not be possible to get what we need here. But keep in mind, every single one of these level ups also means that when we go to combine monsters for mana, or, or to recruit them into our panel, all that money starts multiplying really high, so it would not surprise me if we could get 20 million straight up just by combining every enemy on the map, once we're done with the stronger enemy bills. Oh, you attacked him? Oh, you're a fool. Now at this point, Kirk needs 200... Honestly, I think he needs 700, so I could have him just solo this for the most part. The only downside is that he's not equipped with his uh, super stat booster, so he's not going to be as strong as he was when we're playing the normal playthrough. I'll just do this for now. So it might be worth uh, investing in some armor or something for Kirk. Get rid of some of his health boosts just to get more stats, because I think he scales decently well with stats. That guy's kind of tanky. Might as well get the kills while I can. If the characters die here, it's fine. We just view this as more ways to raise our staff mastery back to where it was. Wow, I am surprised Imperameter survived that, and that just goes to goes to show how like dumb level up stats are on the mages right now that they could just do that. Um, I might just hit this guy for melee, speed it up a little. Let's see if either of them can steal the kill here. Nicely done in Parameter. Good kill steal. <laughs> and again, he's only like 50 levels from where he was previously. And he still survived another strike. Holy. Anyway, speaking of great level ups, <laughs> right chat? Like, wow. I, like, if he had been level 1, he wouldn't survive that. Um, You know what? I'll give this to potentially Chris. I think Chris needs it. So Chris's levels are starting to catch up a little, and Parameter is like tanking like a god right now. <laughs> like it's actually stupid how much damage he's taken and has not died. There we go, see that he just cleaned it up. The so Kirk sadly didn't get many kills, but we got more chances. Speaking of which, we could try to give him, as I said before, a stat booster. I don't care about raising his defense. I mean, we'll probably incidentally raise his defense. I'm more interested in like, uh... oh, more, more boots would be useful later. We're interested in like the oh that's right it's eight mil the good stuff is too expensive uh did reaper's cloak matter for other oh no it would be kind of bad i guess i could just get like a throwaway cactus armor or something for now on kirk's character it's better than nothing 
Yeah, 2,000 health is a little excessive here. I'd rather have stats. So if he needs to tank a couple hits, I'd rather he have that. I just love how ridiculous our stats are here. Let's still start on the, the fighters. It's kind of hilarious, I'm also not going to lie. So gonna bite it having 2,000 health is actually kind of insane. Any chat would agree. That is super tanky. Give him more health. Yeah, just this character needs some shoes. Let's give him some shoes. We've seen before all I care about is movement, so it's like, whatever. I don't even care what the stats are on these. Having more tools for later helps. Also, I figured out what characters have a 6th throw from our last session, by the way. So we should be fine going forward. You know what? There's really no downside to at least giving them a weapon even if I don't use it. It's honestly just free stats at this point. I can even view this as just a defense booster. He doesn't even have to be good at the weapon. So we're almost at the point where I should be running out of the... Or they just keep... Or maybe they do scale with level. I'm surprised we have a thousand influence. Because we were barely getting 800 earlier. That's a lot of people saying no, chat. So yeah, we'll be able to rank Kirk up into possibly Cosmic Hero. Which will make him go from A rank proficiency to S rank. Gives him an overall boost in stats. And he's already gathered a lot of levels from normal boosts. Like, I know we're not in the several, you know, five digit amount of levels that could be stored. But at the same time... Also, it is kind of funny that our, our, our throwaway character, who has never killed an enemy and has only absorbed stage experience, is level 46. This also goes to show that sometimes it's not worth giving the kill to other people. But hey, I mean, 2,000 health is probably enough to tank everything in story mode and hold them. That's also funny. Um... I'm just gonna boost his attack power. I don't really care if the other characters die. I'll summon Chris later. I actually need to get uh, RJ Chaos' stats higher. If we could get Brave Part to 2, we could use him in the final area. And if other people also happen to rank up, I mean, there's no downside to that, so might as well do this. Done, and he got a level, which might not matter right away, since we're talking like fractions of his base stats result in actual boosts. Bonk. But we'll see what he can do, because he needed like, what, 700 mana, I think? If he could keep getting kills every now and then, that should be good enough. Ooh, RJ Chaos's spray part should be level two now. Nice. So now, now if all of our other mages die, I can at least buff two characters with RJ Chaos, which does actually make a big difference. Uh, since Kirk is about to be hit by a ton of enemies, I might as well see if I can steal a kill with our other characters. Your weakness is ice. I mean, the fact that their staff range is like this tells you all you really need to know. Welcome, Dango. And honestly, them going from like four defense a level or whatever their base is up to eight kind of matters. But obviously, they're still very squishy. Oh, you're, oh, you're 113. That's actually perfect. Do a wind cutter here. Hope you're doing well, Dango. Oh, this enemy is not possible for Imperimeter to kill, but we could at least maybe kill the back row one. Nice. 
exactly what I want in. Been living the life of randomizers. What kind of randomizers, Nango? Okay, the fact that it took two people to kill an parameter there. Ridiculous. Is there a way to weaken them without killing them? I do this. Man, Chad, did you see me do that math in my head? Like, I looked at his defense, so I'm like, I think this won't kill. Damn, that, that was like so close to killing. Almost messed up. Perfect handoff, though. Oh, I thought they were going after Kirk there. I was like, where are you going? Stupid. Uh, he almost had a enough mana. He got at least 300 there. It's worth checking. Random, uh, randos from Archipelago so dump some StarCraft 2, Kingdom Hearts 2, Ocarina of Time. Hopefully they've been fun. Is he off by, like, 50? Am I looking at that correctly? Oh, 150. So close. Yeah, I'm assuming Transmigration 10 does not mean, like, 10 on a single character. If it means 10 on a single character, I'm not gonna bother with the achievement. But at least I can look at that and I guess assume where we are there. Those enemies are hilariously overpowered. I can't even clear this anymore. Holy. I need just, like, one more stronger enemy bill. I think it caps when it hits 100, but I could be wrong. Yeah, see how it's getting harder and harder to pass? That's about what I thought would happen. Oh, they've been fun. But anyway, getting a promotion exam at this point is, like, nearly impossible. <laughs> I don't think any of our human characters can get past, like, the first three levels. Not unless I at least give them, like, double testament or something insane. Their stats are kind of hilariously high. Like this one. So he needs 150. Carl could get kills, I don't really care. I think Kirk earned his upgrade. We can see how impossible the pro I want to see how impossible the promotion exams are at the end. Oh, we finally got a new ability. Thanks, ever. Oh, that took a while. I don't think I could get a kill with it. They're very tanky. I could try to kill this guy with it though. What I can do is sacrifice our mages to the gods. Oh, unless they're still dead and I forgot to revive them. In which case, that's still fine. I don't think this changes our game plan at all, whatsoever. Let's turn on the animation. Look at that animation we're skipping. Let's see what this is. I need, I think, two more kills? You only needed 150, and I think that was a level 80. Needless to say, they are not killing the monster we have. They might kill Kirk, though. We'll see. I guess it depends on how strong they are. This guy looks too tanky to kill. Buffs up a little bit more. They happen to melee the other guy, it's their fault. Nice counter attack, that might actually matter.
Bonk. I mean, on the plus side, they don't seem to be able to hurt Kirk very much. So maybe his armor increase did matter. Oh, he provoked a counterattack? Yeah, that's his fault. Enemy only has themselves to blame. Wow, I actually ran out of mana with Kirk. That's kind of rare. And he leveled again. Last second level up might matter for stats. I would say like every like five or so levels probably makes a difference with how statted up we are. Oh, nice. We can finally do it. Past the stronger enemy build, but there's a point. Let's not transmigrate. The Kirk was a hero. So he gets like one extra attack. More importantly, he goes S rank in sword and axe. At least defense doesn't go up any. Yeah, this is gonna be a huge bonus. So back to 35 attack a level. 16 defensive levels, literally double the mages. His health is pretty good. This should be fine. Sadly, he's gonna lose Knight Sever because he lost some of his sword proficiencies. That's fine. There we go. Kirk has attained Cosmic Hero. <laughs> I still can't believe this is the rank one that I have to clear. Is it even possible for Rogue Nine to clear this? I'm just curious. I mean, the fact that he's leveling in his promotion exam for the base level one is kind of insane. I guess this works. Yeah, we can see the ninja's miss chance is really good here. But it requires him to have higher speed. So him ranking up into a new class will help in some regards. I mean, it looks like he's just auto always dodging, which is kind of funny. I don't know if he'll get up to the genius level, but I think at least bumping him up a little more could be nice. And I'll take any additional stats on his way up to promotions. I just want to see from a transmigration standpoint how much he needs. That'll determine how much I bother leveling. Ooh, we're taking some big damage there. Unfortunately for them, I killed them next turn. If they don't kill me here, it's over. Although I am pretty injured. Maybe I will die. Or we dodged every hit? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Four leveled ups. That could matter. As a simple four, like we don't have many levels stored with him, so I'll take anything. Oh, you know what? He's only unlocked up the Shadow Ninja. Hmm. So he needs to have 400 more to get distinguished. Which is probably worth waiting for. I don't think he needs to go straight to Genius, but him having 10 attack here would be kind of huge. Plus it slightly improves his stats. Like 90% defense proficiency would matter. His fist is still s rank, so nothing really matters there. So yeah, we'll try to give some kills to Rogue Nine. But speaking of which... How many enemy builds do we need? I might try one more, and then we're gonna get another character. Oh, oops. We're getting there, though. It's definitely easier to feed kills if we get a super weapon. Instead of attacking with like a 500 fist, hitting with like a 900 weapon does make a big difference. But yeah, at this point, they can't stop. I mean, they can stop me, quote unquote, from passing the bill, and then this happens. I wish them the best of. Oh, you're dead. That was foolish. 
I mean, you can wish them the best in luck in their attempts, I guess. The downside with the ninjas, it's hard to buff on. But he's probably gonna die while doing some stuff here. There we go. Several levels for Kirk Matter. Oh, they killed the ninja. Hey, Kirk lived. I guess all of his health ups mattered. You know what? These characters are kind of high level. Maybe they are getting statted up. I don't see like a single one below a certain value. RJ Chaos out here. Add the parameter out here. He's gotta level as much as we can these boosts. Use try as a decoy. With two magic boosts, I should be able to get a kill, I think, on this guy. We'll see though. Might still be a little weak. Just got it, just got it. Let's block their movement by repositioning, so something like this should help. There we go. Make it more annoying for them to reach the mage. I was gonna say, you know what? I think a parameter is survived again. <laughs> oh, Chris survived. Good job, Chris. You know what, since Chris took that in the face, might as well just give it to Chris. I think, he, I think he earned that. So even his levels are like, he's ba basically halfway there again. Gotta get him back up a little stronger. But these characters are just impossible for Kirk to kill without having Testament. If he has Testament, I think he could do it. But only having 1,800 attack is not good enough. He needs close to 3k. If he had 3k, he'd be fine. I mostly just want to get him in a counter-attack war. Once he gets 15 proficiency again, which should be easy to, easier to hit this time. Alright, let's try to move out of the sniper's range a little bit more. Make us less of a target. Wow, he could hit from there? Holy! How many tiles was that? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay, whatever. Whatever, chat. <laughs> Stupid sniper range. This might set up Kirk for a kill. I probably need to buff him at least once. What we'll do... We'll summon all the characters we can for buffs. And then if he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it. Does he have enough for Hurricane Slash? He does not. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, no counterattack. That's so sad. Bonk. Oh, come on. <laughs> he just needs to land the hit. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now his raw stats should be fun. Oh, I killed the mate. Oh, that's annoying. Hold on. Maybe I killed the Ronin and forgot that I did that. We're gonna quit just so I can summon them again. I think that was the foolish Ronin that walked up and meleeed our other character. I wish I could tell what the enemy strength up bill was at currently. Like, I could look at the mana costs and work backwards, but I wish it just told me. Do you know what I mean? Later games, I think, are a little better about that. Oh, I got stuck there for a second. What? I did get stuck. What is this? <laughs> this Gaia. Please. That invisible wall, though. I guess I'll save once. I'm gonna see- I'm gonna get more money briefly. And get an idea of combining their levels, how tough this guy is now. I'll decide if I really want to capture them or not. 
Wow, these guys were 6... Remember, chat, these guys were 606 before. So I could get a... Ooh, I could get a 7,000 character right now. Chat, hmm. Maybe. I probably need one stepping stone between us and the next level. I'm not going to say no to that, honestly. Alright, so now that we have basically all of our movement characters... I guess we'll set up for it. I mean, the worst that happens is if I can't kill them. Oh, we need another movement 9 character. That reminds me. Damn, movement 9 is so good. Oh, because I have to do the diagonal throw. Is that what I did last time? I think so. Oh, I messed it up that time. That's so sad. Do something like this. That saves a little bit of time. Ooh, I can't combine those the way I wanted to. I'm glad I stopped myself there. That would have been a mistake. Would have had the Winged Demon there. So yeah, he only... Uh, chat, honestly, he only has 26,000 health right now. I think we could definitely afford a Burge here. It just matters. Alright, so then he's going to hit a total of 7,000 off of this. I might just kill this guy first. I'm kind of thinking about it. So that is a lot of stats. I think he's still weaker than this character if we look at him statistically. Oh no, they're about on par. So I... This guy's like on the fence whether or not I could take him. So what I should probably do is... Lift this guy up. Actually no, I don't even need to do that. Let's do something like... We're gonna have Chris and company come out. They should be out of range, because we know their range is terrible. Unless they can physically walk within like five spaces of us, they're not hitting us. There should be way too many melee characters for them to care about. Chris and company here. We're gonna take advantage of their high staff range to do this. So let's weaken him up. If I happen to accidentally kill him, then we just end up with like a bazillion in cash. So it's kind of a win-win for me, honestly. So I can swing at him maybe three more times and soften him with another character and I should get the kill. That's doable. We definitely want to put these characters away. If I melee kill the other two, it doesn't really matter. And if I combine the other two, I still get a decent amount of cash, since it would be the equivalency of 26,000 levels killed, which is okay. Uh, we definitely need to level up. I think if we level up these three characters, we should auto-capture. The only thing I need to do is get a couple more mages in here, and then put Etna away, because she's not needed. Because honestly, these other characters being buffed might be enough. I don't need to even need their attack to be, like, super insane, either. So now their attack should be stupid broken. Yeah, like, 94,000 attack in the base alone might be good enough here. But this character alone should be good enough to beat him. So if I want to beat this guy down now, I should be fine. Oh, we beat 100,000 damage, which is a steed achievement. So as long as I don't high roll again here, he should live and I should kill him. Hopefully we also don't get into a counter-attack war. Of course. At least I'll die. 
was like, right, Chad? Of course that had to happen. Of course. Right. Removing 10,000 health there, I think, is huge. I'm actually going to put this guy back. Just a moment. As long as this guy's buffed up and in the base, we should be fine. Again, there's no way we're losing this fight to them, because I have so many more stats than him now compared to before. Like, honestly, I could probably afford another stronger enemy build. But with this kind of buff, we should be fine. And if I happen to accidentally kill him, it literally does not matter at all. So if I get any counterattack war here, it should be fine. My attack damage is whatever. If I kill one of our other characters, it doesn't really matter. So, let's hit them with this. Like the 2,000. Okay. I think that's good enough. Feeling pretty good about that. So, he's about as weak as he's realistically gonna get. As I said before, if I really need more attack power, I could do stuff like this. But I think it super matters. So in case it's checking attack versus defense, at least that should be decent enough. We'll have... Who needs XP? Probably Laharl. We'll have Laharl come out and throw. So we have, like, a character that's a basically equivalent in strength, and we have two characters also equivalent in strength. So I'm like, the odds of us capturing are pretty high. Yeah, the fact that he didn't even reach these other characters tells me I probably could have gone straight to the max level. Like, if I could capture him, I could capture anybody. Which is fine. So let's see if we can get some other characters out here. So who else needs level ups? Ansel doesn't really need them. Probably Kirk. Rogue Nine getting more would be nice. Since he's going to potentially level. Oh, Calvisham getting them would be interesting. Oh, they killed Rogue Nine. Oh, I was gonna summon him and I'm like, wait, damn, he actually died. Unfortunate. Wait, how did how did some of these other characters live? <laughs> Looking at this, I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Fine, we'll level try. Try try's been around for a while. The only thing I need to do is put away one character, which could be six feet under. So I'm not going to get a ton of mana from this. Wow, that one shot was real. Since we just captured an opponent. But I could just uh, combine them all together. So technically, I think I could have even combined the other two together. I don't know what level that would put us at, though. Bonk. You know what? That's still enough to afford a super weapon, sadly. <laughs> we killed two monsters, and that's all that was needed, chat. Okay. So we could definitely get some very silly totals. Am I 999 yet? Sorry, Calvisha. Not happening in this playthrough. But what I could see... What level did this other character come in at? 7,000. So I could have had an 88,000 character here. Interesting. Well, anyway, uh, sorry, Omega. I need to give your super stats to another character. <laughs> we summoned Judas. Okay. Almost at 100,000 base stats. Not bad. Move the Amon Force and the Cactus Armor stuff to another character. So this character is like the level 1000 one, it's basically useless. Something like this, at least give them 30k. Oh, that's not the one I thought I equipped. Oops.
So the, the 2000 ones aren't even worth equipping anymore, but these characters kind of are. I mean, 62,000 is not insignificant. Yeah, I'm on forces on the other character, which is very silly. Can I buy any super weapons while I'm here? Can I really not buy the Infernal Staff? Seriously? <laughs> Just a shy in cash. How did that happen? 8 million isn't enough? Damn. Right, chat? Damn. Gotta do better, I guess. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I want some money, and then we're going to probably not capture the next level of character. We're probably just gonna continue with enemy bills. I want some money, though. Hope you're doing well, Calvation. Another gun. I mean, Calvation might get an upgrade from that. So basically, all I need to do is combine them into one super enemy, which, honestly, I don't think it's going to be that challenging. I don't even care who it is, because they're all going to go into the pig. Wait, are they actually going to max level if I do that? I think they will. That'll be funny if I fight a level 9999 and kill him. It's good prep for the, the final uber boss of this game, I guess. Be slow. Uh, I feel physically better, but it has been a bad week, I'll be shown, to be honest with you. I do stuff like this here. So I'm not going to bother capturing this group, as I said before. I think we could just go straight for max level. Given how easy that was, I, I probably gone could have gone from 5,000 or whatever. Oh, that reminds me, that character can't be that. Uh, I need plenty to do that. That way I could do this. Much better. Uh, so I could throw these two together. So in theory, I could have a 7,000, 8,000 character right now, but I think we could go straight for 9,000. So if we hit the strongest enemy bill, I think it'll go over 9,000 based off of how they're scaling here. If my quick math is correct, which it could be very wrong. I think it'll be like a 9,100 or something. Give or take, like, I don't know, 100. Yeah, so if I could get two more, because I think the bill initially costs 100, I think I could get another 800 just from the other ones and another 200 from the others. I think is how it works, roughly. Anyway, this is now a super monster. So 1380 plus 1400 means that I should be able to combine them into a super monster and kill them. Um... <laughs> We're gonna sacrifice Calvisham. Sorry, Calvisham. I want this money, though, real quick. Rip Calvisham. Damn, you took on 52,000. So sadly, I think this enemy type overrides. But yeah, see, he's almost 9,900, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. That we're at the point where I feel confident we could just solo a character at almost max level. So, needless to say, this should be all the mana we need for the remaining bills. <laughs> Which is the other reason I'm doing this. I'm just gonna guarantee it, chat. Listen. I'll be like, mm-mm. You don't get to do anything to me. So we might as well summon all of our important characters. So this is gonna be a preview of what Prinny Ball is like. I'm going to summon basically three monsters out, and then just see if I can kill them. Honestly, probably these three is good enough, so let's have Imperimeter come in. Hopefully he doesn't get targeted. I'm pretty far away, but we've seen them basically snipe, so whatever. Could summon Gansel and Frost as decoys, maybe. But space them out a little more, so I'm less likely to get hit with one shot. That extra staff range. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate being able to do that. I would not be able to do that with most of the other characters. So now our stats are insane. 
Yeah, 163,000. Get out of here. I'm gonna do this to block his easy access to us. Wow. The fact that we buffed that much and we didn't come close to one-shotting is kind of insane. Means his stats are pretty good. But unfortunately, unfortunately for him, pretty good is just not enough. I also kind of wish that instead of gun, this was uh, XP up. This would have been a great way to level up our mages. But yeah, even though I don't need to do this, I'm going to do this to build proficiency. It might matter. So he's out of range, can't do anything about that. I can hit him with Megaton Crush guaranteed. And Gigantic Slash should work here. 108,000 damage again. So next turn is a kill. Don't counter attack again, please. Okay, great. Now I can f <laughs> put the other gun to sleep. Okay, so I could kill him with this character. Although I just realized Omega has Armana. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Bonk. How much money is this? <laughs> it gave up immediately. Chad, it was like, listen, the amount you got, it's a lot. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How much was that? <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, I got 300 million? Well, anyway, anyway, I guess I, I guess I'll just go on an upgrade spree. I mean, just just casual 300 mil in one battle. I mean, can you imagine the people that were like grinding what? it out? I know. Can you imagine the people that are like, man, I'm going to like cave ordeals for repeatedly fighting as humans, and I'm like, nah, listen. I'm like, listen, Chad, we we got things to do. <laughs> I I could give like Calvisha a super gun, cause who cares? Sure. You know what? Let's get... Actually, is Fenrir the best? Maybe it's the best. Let's double check. Uh, That's a pretty good sword. I just buy that. Diabolic bow. We don't have a single bow user in this game, I realize. It's a shame we never had an axe user. I'll pick it up just because. It's not like I don't have money. Oh, another Amon Force. That's actually, that's actually a huge pickup. Unironically. If that actually came with good stats, it would have been amazing. Oh, so Fenrir, Fenrir looks like the best gun that I can get. I could get another Super Sword if I want to. Infernal Fist with a Gladiator is probably about as good as I'm going to hope for. But needless to say, we could go on a full human equipment increase. Oh man, if only that wasn't resist. I'll still buy it because we have money. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, normally I would not buy it, but dot 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 our money dot 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 doesn't matter. Like, we're good for- I'm pretty sure we're good for the rest of the game. I'm just looking to see if we could get minor upgrades here. Not seeing anything. Oh, and a Mon Force with Gladiator? Actually, that's even better. I'm not gonna say no to monster weapons. It's not as good as Lucifer Force, but it gives us more backup options. Um, Bravery Belt. Oh, Bravery Belt with Statistician? Yeah, that's actually huge. Uh, I'll buy an Infernal Armor. Celestial Armor will probably be good for, uh, in on some of our other characters. See if we could do a little better. Might as well buy an Eclair. We always, we always run out of those. Wow, those are some stats indeed. Definitely no in ups on these armors. I mean, I'll take bonus health and whatever at this point. Yeah, Celestial might be worth it on our mages, just to equip all of our mages for tankiness. While still getting decent stats. I'd like a couple more infernals. Looking to see. I don't see. Oh, that's right. I think glasses got locked. Hold on, we might have to go past the bill real quick. Alright, so for human characters. Um. 
probably want Kirk with the Infernal. More speed doesn't necessarily matter. I think the defense matters more on Kirk, to be honest. I'd reduce his health down if I want to. Yeah, this is probably worth it to give him Statistician if I'm looking to make him level at all. And obviously we got the stupid broken sword. How much damage is this increase? Wow. Not even like the right types or anything. A free defense increase is always kind of nice. So now Kirk has the 3k I was looking for. Uh, the ninja getting almost 800 attack matters. Or normal clears. I don't think the rest of these matter that much. Do something like this. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, if I if I equip an infernal armor armor with attack, that fixes Laharo pretty well. Most of these are just kind of terrible anyway. Okay, so I can have a tanky Laharo if I want. Oops. Button got stuck. Might as well as do that. Devil Ring is only mediocre stats, so that means the Celestial Armor should just be a straight-up upgrade. It is. So that kind of matters. So I mostly just need more Celestials. Uh, I think we're good. It looks like that's all Chris needs. That way he could get health and also SP and also other things. Though it seems like it's not guaranteed I get what I want here. Wait, 150 hit on a cape? Huh. Dang. Maybe maybe tank Vishav is real. Possible world on. Um, do this for now. More infernal armor. Definitely double celestial. Because all these other armors are basically just going to go to uh, our other monsters, and we should basically be unkillable at that point. We should basically just do hand-me-downs until we have actually good stats. I guess that works. All of our monsters are upgraded. Why not? Put on the belts. Yeah, the fact that this is also 150 attack by default is kind of funny. It's not as good as like a belt, but in terms of survivability, I will absolutely take it. So, Inferimator's equipment is really solid, but from Chris's standpoint, this Celestial Armor should just be a win-win for him. Yeah. So that is a massive improvement for Chris. He has almost a thousand in defense and resistance, and his health is actually pretty good. I'll take that. Any other last-minute upgrades I want on these characters? Really, I'm kind of happy with how most of them are, to be honest. Oops. He was going a little crazy there with the inputs again. Oh, Omega's only a 330 gun? Oh, that's a terrible weapon. 
I gave one to Flan by accident, but I guess that works. Well, speaking of which, never improved in parameter staff. So I'm kind of curious if they could even clear stuff on their own. That's just a massive increase in general. There we go. Let's improve RJ Chaos's stats a little more. Anybody else need raw attack power? I think so, right? Most of our other characters are pretty good. Yeah, they have above average stuff. That should be fine. Let's get rid of these. I can use the extra health on one of these characters. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, okay. So let's sell most of this other stuff. I don't really need it anymore. I love I just have double Dark Rosary for no reason. I guess I could put it on the other characters. Just a downside to it. Okay. So we just went through a massive shopping spree. I still have a lot of money left over, which to me is funny. I'll sell Kusanagi, because I don't really care about it anymore. I would like to get an Axe user at some point, but I don't think it'll happen in this playthrough. Maybe if I play around on my own, or if I want to do the bonus stuff, I might mess with it more. We still have a ton of Bandit Hands. We have a lot of flaws and healing, which is good, so I'm tired of doing that stuff. I'm gonna sell the Cha-Ching Hand, because it's just strictly worse than Bandit Hand. Uh, any other upgrades I should be considering? Yeah, unless one of these is, like, super amazing. Which, I mean, Celestial is pretty good. That is a very raw stat improvement over other options. <clears throat> so now in Parameter is kind of like the glass cannon and Chris is the tank. I guess is how it ended up working out. Um, might actually be worth getting rid of this just to become tankier with more speed. Honestly, I think that kind of works. Ah. So now we no longer need money. Let's just pass stronger enemy bills. Is there anybody else we didn't upgrade? Like, Laharl got an upgrade. Oh no, he didn't get an upgrade. Right, let's get Laharl an upgrade. In case I feel like using it for something later. Colonel Fist is okay. We never had a spear user. I think we could have gotten a uh, stronger spear, for example. Oh, that is a massive stat improvement. If we had our staff upgraded, or not staff, if we get our spear upgraded to, I think, 25, I think we get a unique spear by talking to Loginus. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel like playing with Etna that long to do it. We could just literally steal better if we're kind of at that point. Oh, wow, the stats on this are kind of insane. What the heck? I might just have other characters hold this weapon. Honestly, like 200 to everything is kind of insane. Uh, I'm looking for a real sword upgrade though. Or is it just not, or is it just not gonna happen? We're not gonna find one. Ooh. That might be what I'm looking for. I lose a little bit of stats, but my attack power goes through the roof. Kind of worth it. And it also means that on my other... Our random character that is wielding a sword. It just upgraded this, just to become really tanky. It's not a bad idea, honestly. I might as well just give them weapons. It means I could technically also just give them an axe straight up. Speaking of which, does Anna get any proficiencies other than with spear? I don't even remember. Oh, she's A with axe as well? Oh, well... <laughs> it makes her hit one, but you know what, chat? You could dream. Goodbye, Vile Brilliance. There's nothing brilliant about you, but you are Vile. There we go. I got my Dream Axe user. It's the character that canonically uses the spear. Of course. 
Uh, so this will be our final big upgrade. Yeah, that is a massive upgrade. Project Chaos a little stronger. Up up our other characters a little better. I don't really care about their damage, but the other characters might matter. Ended hand? Yeah, there we go. Oh, not bad. Probably want another bandit hand in here. Put these away. Put these in. The more attempts to seal would be nice. But essentially now we just travel to the end of the stronger enemy bills. We've gotten massive upgrades. The fact that... Okay, okay the fact that he got like one kill and he's at 13,000 mana is all I have to say about that chat. Like actually disgusting amounts of mana. Yeah, now killing them with our ult characters should be way easier. I mean, I got like, what, 800 extra attack? On nearly everything? I'll still give Mana to Omega. Since we need, as I said before, about, what was it, 5,000, 3,000 combined in order to finish off the remaining things. Now Visham having like 1,400 it is also funny to me. Although I don't know if his gun is actually any good. I don't remember. No, his gun is actually terrible. Oops. Need to give Calvisham a better gun. I think I forgot to purchase it. Yeah. So on the plus side, Kirk is extremely tanky. So even if he gets poison here, I don't think it matters. Seriously on the way, that's so sad. So we'll see how long Kirk lasts, then we'll sub him out. Although with a kill that easy, that needs to go to Rogue 9 real quick. Rogue 9 needed, what was it, 300 mana or so? It'd be nice to get one last transmigration. And now that his speed is boosted by equipping something other than the belt, she get a lot of damage here. That's insane. Thanks to his fist weapon. He is doing like 600 more a hit. The fact that he's still dodging this is insane. Nice kill. Just want to unlock uh, Night Sever again. If we can. There we go, we just unlocked it. Damage, but that's fine. Rogue Nine getting some last minute level ups, nothing wrong with that. Let's see how off he is in terms of leveling. How much does he need to get to the next one? 120. That's like what, two or three senator kills at this point? I think we could do that. And if he happens to level up along the way, that's always nice. And hey, when we go to get our max level thing, it's possible that we might get more stage XP, which would also push up his uh, abilities. Honestly, improved movement, kind of tempting, but really not needed at this point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look how annoying it is. There we go. Now we're hitting the we're never going to get another promotion. 1050? Oh, we barely got it. Okay. <laughs> This is more what I was expecting to happen. So remember, every one of these bills passed is another... I think we determined 90 levels to the other uh, demons. 
So we've already added about 400 plus just from Demons Alone on the last bill. So yeah, if Rogue Nine get extra levels, it might impact his stats slightly. He needs to get some kills here. I do want to see in parameters damage at some point, but right now I'm just kind of doing whatever. Oh. I read idea. I forgot how far away he needed to be for the rest. Let's kill. How did that not kill? So sad. I think those two combined might give Rogue Nine what he wants. If he gets extra kills, he gets extra kills. Oh, don't kill each other. I don't want to kill you. So sad. That ex that mana went to waste. It looks like at least our melee characters can reasonably kill people that are like 30, 40 levels higher than them. If not 60 levels. That's always impressive. We're mostly just getting chipped out by poison right now than anything else. Okay, nice level up. I might die here due to poison. That's unfortunate. That's like a free kill for one of our mages. Alright, let's see in parameters damage. Weak to ice, huh? Let's see how weak you are. Okay. Nice little level up there, too. I don't know if that was enough mana killed, because the one I was looking at died. He did get a couple other kills, but they could have been low level. Let's see, was this good enough? was. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. So just overall better stats. The Shadow Ninja will probably be his last upgrade. Yeah, the Steam Achievement might require me to get like literally 10 on one character. That That's a little obsessive. I don't think I want to do that to be honest. Limit has been reached. There we go. We're at max level. So now we just need to unlock these final ones. So we, we, we're we officially done with it, Chan. We're going to go capture another one of ourselves, and we are all set up for basically next time we play. So since we finished with quite a few things left over, we might as well clear Cave of War Deals 9 at the end of the run. I might save that for later. I don't know. Could do it now, it doesn't really matter. I mean, at this point, this character is just invincible no matter how you look at it. Funk. So I have a lot of backup characters that can get over 150,000. I would like, ideally, at least two level 9,000 characters. Not because I think I need them to kill the boss, but I just want to mitigate us whiffing over and over, if that makes sense. Because I feel like more likely than not, uh, when we go to fight Bale, who should have some, like, endgame equipment on him, I'm gonna be basically rolling 50% chance of steel on him most of the time. But we saw how banned some of my 50-50s were. These poor enemies. Do you even come with anything interesting? Sage's staff? Whatever. Actual trash. We don't care about that. Goodbye. Wow, they actually meleeed and I somehow did not counterattack. I think that to me is the bigger plot twist. You're gonna melee me, please die. Thank you. Yeah, so we already have Cave of Ordeal unlocked. We can't get stronger enemies anymore. I could get triple XP, which is hilarious when you think about uh, how BS uh, we could get the monster levels up to. <laughs> so if we want to, we could just form a level 9,999 character, 
uh, do the triple XP thing, and then immediately go to like one of the higher cave of ordeals, especially the one with 50% experience. So we can end up with some really, really stupid XP if we really want to. Is it required? No, and that's why I won't do it. But I think it's funny to mention. We don't we don't need to use XP to level anymore, except when we're passing bills and have nothing better to do. If I happen to level here, I happen to level here. His level is locked in as far as I'm concerned. Nice double hit. Saves me a lot of time. Yeah, and since a lot of the stat scaling we saw came from uh, equipment on monsters, if we manage to steal the equipment on the uber boss, basically they get gutted in terms of stats, because I'm not really worried about the uber boss at all. Yeah, so alternate netherworld we need to unlock, which we'll probably unlock today, because we have time. Let's do another promotion exam, though. Let them come to me. Fire Breath should have been named Breath of Fire, I'm just saying. Missed opportunity. Wow, we didn't one-shot something? Actual insanity. I still don't think anything can hurt us here. We're, we're too heavily statted. Nasty. Bonk. Keep in mind, this is not our strongest character anymore. Yeah, so we need 8,000 total. There's another promotion exam? Sure, we might as well see what it does. I do need to eventually get all the promotion exams just to show stuff off. But I think we got everything we need unlocked here. So now we just need to do bills past those. And then we can see if we unlocked a bonus fight? Question mark? Since I think the PC version has this, if we manage to get the strongest enemy bill, we get an extra fight that we could do. So that'll be probably like five or six cameo fights on Thursday, which is a lot. And then we could potentially go for another ending. Let's let's face it, Chad, this game is not going to be able to stop me from getting another ending if I really want it. But we'll see. I might be satisfied with what we have. The only thing I kind of wish we saw was the Earth Invasion stages. But that requires going to the end of story mode in order to unlock. At minimum, I probably want to show off the printy stuff. So maybe if we take a break um, after Thursday, I could try to set up for that so you don't have to watch me play through story mode again. Since at this point, it's kind of obvious what will happen versus like it being up in the air. Another promotion exam. Wow, their levels are getting absolutely out of control, chat. <laughs> Just absolutely out of control. I mean, they still can't kill me. Ooh, I like the, the flames coming off that guy. We rarely see that enemy type. I think we're going to see him when we go to, like, the alternate netherworld, but I don't think we've seen him in a casual setting otherwise. There's this guy called, like, Bahamut. Shaitan. So his 10,000 attack might actually hurt us. Maybe. Bonk. But needless to say, we're, because we've now stronger enemy build everything... We're getting several thousand in mana, just clearing the promotion exams instead of just like a handful. So if there is something I need to unlock, this character could just unlock it for us for the rest of the game. Let's do this. Hopefully he normal attacks me, but if not, it should be fine. On normal attacks. Oh, he did. What an idiot. Yeah, that other guy's pretty tanky. Hopefully we get more normal attacks. I'm just going to end turn. Perfect. Wow, that actually leveled us? Wow. Right, chat? Wow. I mean, okay. I guess he has more stats. Not that it matters. So yeah, we didn't unlock anything new here. Some of these are related to... Uh, I guess we'll say, like, alternate ending stuff, so I need to be max rank for that. Max rank is apparently 11. Let me see what the benefits were of this before we go further. What things were actually tied into heading the max one, because we didn't see anything unlocked. 
but it just means we're probably not far enough in the story. Oh. Actually, it doesn't look like anything unlocks beyond rank 9. Rank 9 gives us access to the mysterious uh, seal, which we need to get to. Alternate Netherworld is what we need to clear. So once we clear Alternate Netherworld and Beauty Castle, we essentially will unlock a final area. In order to do the Human World stuff, I have to go all the way to Episode 14, which kind of sucks. And in order to get to Pretty Land, I have to get to Episode 9. So I might just do an off-screen thing where I go straight to Episode 14, since it's just wrap-up at that point. All right, let's unlock more things, I guess. But now the enemies are as strong as possible. Everybody said no. Wow. Well, <laughs> right, chat? We're, we're in for a battle here, right? Can our uh, human characters even defeat any of this? I'm sure they're an insane level, like 400 plus. Oh, some of them are like more real realistically leveled. Some of them. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Chad, this level 600, yeah, that character is ending our team. Um, unfortunately for them, though, I have bad news for them. This isn't even our best character. This is our best character. Oh my god, it's attack power. Yeah, this is our best character. We should be fine. But yeah, now literally the entire Senate is trying to fight us. So anyway, Chad could see why I wanted to probably get a couple characters. Although, surprisingly... They are really not even able to chip us even with any skills. Kind of embarrassing, honestly. Um, Well, in theory, if I could get a kill here to a human character, this would be amazing. I doubt it'll happen, though. Yeah, they're just, like, slightly too strong. I have to do something like this. Oh, that was too strong. Uh, we need the sniper characters dead. Like, without question, they need to go. Do something like this. And yeah, most of the snipers are now gone. Uh... <clears throat> I don't mind summoning more characters here. like the mages to potentially buff themselves. Let's do... Let's have a sacrifice. Have sacrifices over here. Get RJ Chaos a little stronger. Alright, great. He's got double buff. Perfect. Let's see how much we can boost their stats. You away... Oh, I could I could go further actually. But sadly, he's probably gonna dodge most of the buffs, but it's fine. Only downside to ninja, needing a high hit percentage to land it kind of blows. But there's no way we could die at this point with our characters that are out here. I mean, we're seeing we're literally taking zero. We'd have to get poisoned to death. That's the only thing that can hit us. Wow, Kirk actually survived a strike from one of these characters. Multiple strikes. Oh, all well, the mages are dead instantly. Never mind. GG. I could still try to hit something with Rogue 9, but yeah, these guys are just too high level for our party. Unfortunate. An attempt was made. It was not a good one, but it was made. Uh, let's put you back. I need, like, a stronger finisher here. Oh, Pig will help. Oh, I wonder, did I even get an ally kill yet? Or if I actually managed to avoid killing our allies? I'm kind of curious now. I If I want to get the other endings, I need to have exactly... Or at least one ally kill. If I didn't get an ally kill, that's more funny than anything else. It means I was paying attention. Yeah, okay, they still can't get through our best characters. So yeah, sadly, these characters are just way too strong. Even with uber equipment, Chad, and stuff that gives us 150 attack. We are just physically not able to injure them unless we're like max Braveheart and we cannot survive multiple hits like these guys can. So sadly, we're seeing the monster supremacy of Disgaea 1. I don't even think it's a contest. I feel like if anybody says the human characters are stronger, my immediate question is, how much do, how much were you grinding? Because <laughs> like the, the amount of time to make them like this is uh, very low. 
compared to the human characters. Human characters require a lot of effort in repeat stages. Get out of here. Yeah, I wish the human characters scaled with items as well as the monsters did. Like, the monsters are honestly just out of control. I think they did that to make up for the fact that it's annoying to transmigrate with monsters. Unfortunately. But sadly, despite their wishes, they are all gonna die. Oh well, we'll get a chance to play with Imperimeter more at some point. Ooh, actually. Funk. Yeah, we now have four monsters to speed this up significantly. So here I don't regret having extra monsters. Because one monster alone would have taken forever, especially if I only hit two tiles. And they probably would lock down my movement completely. But I can't imagine, like, in Parameter, or even, like, Kirk, or anybody else clearing the... What are they called? The promotion exams at this point. They're just too insane. There we go, we cleared it. Passed. That was probably the hardest spill to pass. If we got that one out of the way, everything should just be free at this point. Wow, we're at 30,000 mana. Out of curiosity. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he needs 40,000? Why does he need so much mana for his first transmigration? Wait a minute. Look at the UI. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna admit, that was really funny to look at. Look at- I think they kind of- I think they kind of oops. Shouldn't the bars fit within the gray slots? I mean, getting 50 attack a level is kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. I know it could get better, but just seeing it like that is kind of funny to me. Holy. I could improve these guys to Executioner if I wanted to. Yeah, look at that. Why did why did they do that? They should just do the Yakuza style where you get another color bar. Yeah, big oops on the a or on the UI there. It's worth showing off. Hey, we unlocked a lot of new monsters because of how many we killed. Nice. We got there eventually. Yeah, this this character stats are kind of insane. This character must be like a super character. Kind of looks like it. His rank 2 is like as strong as the other characters, like max rank, like for example. Yeah, Ghost is terrible. I'm sorry, Ghost, you're so bad in this game. I mean, I could level a print. Oh yeah, we never even fought a printy yet. So we don't even have the other printies. Wow. So as you can see, sadly, with all the monsters, we can only turn them into other monsters. So I can't see what they look like with the human stats. Kind of a downside to the other, uh, or to this Gaia one specifically. Anyway, so that's cleared. Let's go ahead and open the alternate other world. I mean, they could disagree with me. Fools. Right, chat? Fools. Oh, hey, look! Somebody voted yes. We did it, chat. There is the one guy that said yeah. <laughs> he returns. The only smart one. <laughs> Round two. I don't know if it was the same one. I didn't catch what monster type the guy that voted yes was. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe I could get a kill here? Almost. What I could do is use Etna to throw me. And maybe if I put Imperimeter in the corner, we should be fine. Although they seemed to reach me last time, so maybe this isn't fine. Ghosts are kind of bullshit, though. I'll probably die here. Let's disguise low level. Actually. As long as I kill the other snipers, maybe? Look how much damage this does. 2700. 
Maybe a Parameter could actually get the skill and live. Maybe. He has higher staff proficiency and more in. Okay. Worth. Once these two are dead, I think we're fine. Now we just need one more to kill the uh, absolute BS uh, tree stump monster. We should be good. Wait, did something hit Etna for literally zero? Wait, how is that possible? Wait, what? Wait, wait. How, wait. Does she have a beat? Wait. Wait, how did she live? Huh? Wait, <laughs> what attack did they just use that I didn't die instantly with that? No, her stats are terrible. Uh, okay, you know what, chat? Whatever. Oh, that I can't kill that one. Dumbfounded silence. I agree, Blue Donna. That was actually just nonsensical. I don't know what happened there. Some tomfoolery, I think. Holy, these guys are... All the snipers are out now. I'm gonna put Etna back in and bring out the pig. Okay, I've killed most of the snipers. There's still one sniper left, which kind of sucks. Oh, unless we could kill this. Oh, it's only... Oh, I think we can actually kill that. That is within reason to kill. Parameter getting another kill yet again. Almost back up to 4,000 in. So we have almost as much in as when we replaced our character. So we know we're going to be getting at least, what, 30 per level? That's going to be a pretty big increase. So I just need basically 10 levels to catch up to where I was before. Not bad. Are any of these characters actually easy to kill? Well, that character is. I might as well go for it. Good job, Kirk's character. I don't think I could kill literally anything else here without being power level. Oh, there's one level 5 here. For some reason, there's a level 5 in the strongest enemy builds all pass, but whatever. Rest in peace, our mages. Oh, wait, no, we're tanky. Wait, hold on. Our levels mattered and armor. Hold on. They hit Chris, who had all the armor. That works. Another 5k. I think I could give this one to Chris. Let's Omega Star into Omega Fire. This should work. Oh, off by like the tiniest amount. You know what? I think I could kill Steel with Rogue Nine. Might as well as level him. <laughs> From level 1 to level 28 in one punch. Nice. I think his stats are literally caught up to where they were before he swapped. That did not take very long at all. But anyway, I think it's time to uh, spinning slash a couple of these characters. Let's do this. Get rid of you. I wasn't sure if Judas was on our team. I couldn't see the ally health bar. I was like, I honestly don't remember. Only one spinning slash here. Bonk. The pig leveled. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe those stats matter against the boss. Probably not. Oh, actual killable characters? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that chat. I might go for it. Give it to Rogue Nine. There we go. Um, let's see. Do wind cutter. Game, please. Nice kill. I could probably give this one to Chris, because he's been dying for a level up. An ice move. Oh, Mega Ice is just catching up in usage. Alright, I assume we went up like 10 levels. So that's more SP for me. That's how I view it. I mostly just want SP. So them getting back up to like a thousand plus is super good for me. Now there's just like one character left. Oh, they killed Rogue Nine. Rogue Nine tried. I don't think I can even injure this character. They have 4,000 plus, so I think it's time to say goodbye. Get out of here. So hey, our human characters actually somewhat helped, question mark. And I don't think there's anything else for me to unlock at this point, unless I want to get improved movement, which honestly, maybe I killed my, my medic. That medic really wants to die. 
You'd think they'd learn after this the second or third time they died, but nope. Still going against me for some reason. Okay, do we unlock something? Let's see. Huh, I didn't unlock anything. Hmm. Maybe it's not in the PC version? So the only requirement that I'm aware of is I have to pass all the enemy bills. Unless it's something like, I have to pass all the enemy bills and be in the final story stage. If so, that'll make me kind of sad. Let me double check, chat, why I didn't get this. Disgaea 1. I'm gonna double check. It could just be a version thing. I thought this character was available. Oh, yeah, I gotta get further in the plot. <sighs> Alright, chat, I think we're gonna advance the plot. <laughs> I, I kind of want to do the bonus fight there, so we're going to get our last couple of recruits here, and we'll just go through story mode for the rest of the session. But otherwise, I think we're all set up to see basically like four or five stages worth of stuff. Yeah, we're still back at Dinero Palace. I have to get at least to where Gordon is, which isn't like terrible. It's like four or five episodes. It's not like the full chapter clear. And that might set us up for the printy area, because that's only episode 19. But anyway, we're going to worry about these other things later. Go to the Cave Award field. So now, these characters' levels should be insane. Nice. I, like, I just like that this one is like further away on one side and I got to use the diagonal here. Should have moved where the nine movement character was to make the menu a bit less awkward, but whatever. Bird you here. These two combined will be 4,000, but if I combine them with this, I should be higher level. It'll be 4,360. So. Yeah, I think this will work. So I'm gonna do this into this. We'll get a little extra mana, not that it matters at the end. Here we go, chat. We're about to we're about to form a super enemy. So what is our last companion going to be? What is their level? So it looks like about is it 9120? Am I doing math correctly? That is really high stats. So without any weapons, this character is 74,000. So we could do the stage twice just to get two level 91, 20 characters, which probably is worth it if I just want to improve my steal chances. But at this point, they're basically just kind of god moding. Now I just got to actually wound them a bit. So what I should probably do is start hitting him with something. That barely injured us at all. I think as long as I level up the pig and keep him in there, he might be strong enough by himself to kill him. Because his stats are actually pretty good. I'm gonna put these characters away. This character could go all the way back here. Sadly, I can't warp to the base while I have movement selected. I just tried that. Yeah, like, at most, maybe this character stats matter. Yeah, the extra movement for Galaxy Mage actually also matters here, so I don't just die to them instantly. Their level ups matter for SP, since I'm doing Braveheart at a distance. We improved her SP a little bit by switching her items up. Could summon a decoy, I guess. 
Sorry, Charlie. So if the pig goes back, he should just be able to beat the other character single-handedly. I can also just make Omega go back, who also should be able to beat him instantly. So between these two, I think we'll be fine, because they have a ton of health. More importantly, health seems to matter since they drained it out. So if I could ship them out with these remaining characters, I think we're in a good position. Just use this 90k to kill the guy in the background while I hit this guy a little bit. So I could do probably two more strikes like that. Bonk. Under 4,000. So I could do one more strike like that pretty safely. Hopefully I could get a kill here. Oh, oops, he's gonna fight the mages. It's not the worst thing ever to happen, but I do need to make sure I can actually throw him in when I'm ready. 84,000 is probably good enough. I have two characters to throw them in, so what I can do is have Planeer throw him, RJ Chaos come out. If there's bonus XP, there's not that sad. And I could do one more Braveheart on this character. That does improve his overall stats. So throw him in first. This should just be a guaranteed capture at this point. There's no way that he could survive this. We have two characters alone that should be able to kill him, and we just threw another character that's basically as good as him. So we'll lose probably all of our mini characters. But with that many brave hearts, this should be free. The question is, how many survived? Honestly, basically everybody survived. Wow, even Calvisham survived? What a god. <laughs> he survived... You know what? Calvisham's the survivor. He survived the Great Purge of our, of our ally base. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even come... Like, they did injure Omega, but, like, they can't get through our health total. So remember before where I said stuff kind of steamrolls out of control? I didn't need to get the other character that was at, like, level 7,000. I could have skipped that, I think, based off their stats here. So I'll have one 7,000 and maybe two 9,000s for safety, and that should be it. Because Judas might be strong enough to at least tank a couple hits from the boss and be a decoy. And or I'll just pick up the boss. I might not even let the boss do anything, to be honest. I still got bonus money. Not that I need it. We recruited Sonic. I don't know if he's rolling around at the speed of sound, though. Let's go ahead and put these away. Okay, will he break 100,000? Oh, not even questionable if he's gonna go over it. Holy! So anyway, chat, um... We have a character that can now break 200,000 attack. So... Yeah... Double Testament Sophia's Mirror is a little insane. A it's a little strong on him, Chad. Just a little teeny bit. You know what? Let's buy equipment to make the other character good without me needing to swap stuff around. Speaking of which, that was easy. Hmm. I'll buy Fenrir for Calvisham. You know what? He, he earned it at this point. Although I got confused where the menuing is. There we go. I mean, 72,000 is still pretty good, but I think we could do a little better. Let's buy some Infernals. We should be good. One. So not as good as Testament, but still pretty solid. That was slightly different statted. I would have bought that in that Celestial Armor. Ooh, bonus health is actually kind of good. I'm gonna check one more time for Celestial and then we'll move on. Kind of, but not really. Buy some shoes, why not? I 
though, still more attack power than our other characters. So if we do need him, it's not like he's terrible. I mean, 59,000 defense means that unironically he's our biggest tank, even though he's a glass cannon character. Any other characters that I think the ninja of shoes on? Double ninja shoe them. Let's rearrange to have Planeer a bit higher since she has better throw. I don't really care about Flan. Something like this. Which character had her nine movement? It's target. Yeah, that way I can more easily get the good throws in there. Oh yeah, speaking of Witch Town, we need to uh, make Thief characters since they have 6th throw. I mean, I don't think it really matters who makes them at this point. I could technically put it under our existing characters if I wanted to. Not that the stats matter anymore. <laughs> I could create them under Omega. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. Isn't there... Oh, maybe, maybe in this version that's what they are. Okay. <laughs> Gee, I don't really feel like getting approval, to be real with you. Um... Let's get Dango in here. I think these characters are the ones with the correct amount of throw. I haven't leveled a single cleric, which is kind of funny, and I've not played as the females. So I'm not going to unlock Angel in this playthrough. Not that it matters. Um, who else should get a call out? I guess I could do Kaiser. Kaiser was here earlier. Now I should be able to complete Cave of Ordeals. Finally. So, Thiefs... I think that... What's a little confusing is that in later Disgaea games, they swap out, I think, the male thief for a female thief. And when you go to look up the information, you don't get, like, the right image or name of the character, because they rename them in the later Disgaea games. So I think this is the character with Sixth Throw. We could check real quick. I would like to complete this stage at some point. Yes. Okay, so now I can actually complete this stage, so we might as well as. So keep in mind, this is with all the enemy boosts, this is the highest level that they are. Uh, one thing that's also a bit disappointing, in the original Disgaea, uh, this is where I got my first, uh, not Testament. There's like, there's like a super accessory that's one rank above Testament that we haven't seen so far. It used to be on this character, but it looks like they nerfed it, which is unfortunate. Chakra Bell is still decent if I want to get an attack upgrade. Yeah, big downgrade. I always figured what the item is called. It's one of those ones I get like literally one an entire playthrough and I just never see it again. But whatever the highest rank accessory is, it looks like it is removed from this battle. How unfortunate. Also, that stat difference though, holy. So even with stronger enemy build on, I don't think it matters. Honestly, I might even do the bonus fights with some enemy builds. Where we could just- well, oh, they can actually hurt me. I'm kind of curious how hard the story mode is currently. If we can win it with the human characters. Oh, that is a ultra- oh, 12,000 resistance though. Oh, come on, can we- can we steal a kill for a human character? This would be huge. Maybe Kirk could get it? On Kirk. Yeah, there we go. What a good level up. <laughs> right, chat? Nice kill steal. 
Nice. Yeah, these guys are just way too tanky. Kirk is now dead now, by the way, chat. There is a, there is a 0% chance he survives any of this. Unless I do something like... Lift him and pray they don't multi-strike. Oh, they only normal attacked? I might actually be fine now. Bonk. Ooh. Down to 3,000 health. Oh, his resistance wasn't so high. Oh, come on. It's so close. It's such an easy kill. No. I don't really want to get... I mean, I could give it to Laharl, I guess, technically. He weak to fire. No, he's not. Yeah. Uh, try Hurricane Cutter here. Come on. Rogue Nine, can you get the kill? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's a big level up for Rogue Nine, actually. So now he's literally at the same level he was at before. I think he's only, like, where we started the session, because he only hit, like, 60 in this session. So he's probably ultra dead, but hey, we tried. And reduce the number of chances for them to be targeted, I guess. Damn, this dragon is tanky, though. Rip our remaining party members. I just need two left over for throws. So I think anything other than that is kind of greedy. Wait, they're attacking the... What? Oh, because they realized Laharl would die. I was going to say, that, didn't ma that movement did not make sense. But then I forgot the ghost was there. Then that made sense. So if I really wanted a dragon, I could probably get them together. But not really. So that means we can get well over 200,000 attack, which should be way more than enough to deal with Bale. I think Bale has like 100,000 defense with items, if I remember correctly, or 150,000. It's not as high as it is in the other games, so it should actually be doable with maybe even as little as one level 9,000 character. But I've only ever fought him once, so honestly, I don't super remember if there's any other gimmicks to him. We'll also fight the bonus boss after Bale. Um... Oh, I don't have any other human characters that could get this. Unless I believe in Imperimeter's damage, maybe? Try to believe. Oh, that did so little. Damn, his resistance is just too high. Is it like 8,000? It's 11,000? And the fact that you even hurt him at all is, I guess, good. Anyway, time to uh, end this fight. Bonk. I tried. Ooh, dragon's still alive. That is still fine. I still have three summons left. Ultra dead character. Yeah, we don't even get anything interesting for clearing. So honestly, as long as the 90,000 character comes over here, we'll be fine. So we'll use the two rogues that we just created. So rogues have one purpose in this entire playthrough, which is a complete cave ordeal. deal. And once we do that, I believe we should get an item that will allow us to do more bonus stages. And then I guess the rest of it could just be story mode. So I'm willing to go like another hour or so. But we are basically done. I could get one more 9,000 as I said before. But otherwise I think we're pretty much set up now. And from the for the sake of stealing things, having another 7,000 character might also be good enough. <laughs> and he got another level, which helps. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring Dango and Kaiser over here. I guess I could just buy them with, like, a bunch of boots and then give them guns. I guess there's no downside. Yeah, their stats their stats are terrible, and their proficiencies are equally as terrible. But it's pretty hard to get a kill with them. They're intended for you to basically cheat the stealing formula so that they could get up to a 99% success rate, but... 
it's just easier to get a 9,000 monster than it is leveling these characters to like 3,000, to be real with you. Maybe something like lift, lift, throw, throw. We did bring in some bandit hands, so I have several opportunities of getting the Kaiser belt. I don't really care about his other accessories. I just hope I don't kill this guy instantly, honestly. Okay, good. He didn't do that. Oh, he actually did good damage to me. That's a little scary. Wait, he's 540,000 health? Oh, yeah, that's a little scary. Alright, so that should reduce his damage significantly. Hmm. I might not actually be able to clear this. Maybe this will work? I, I took out another 11,000. Okay, so he's doing half damage now. Maybe we have a chance. He honestly has like a ton of health. I hope he just normal attacks us at some point. So taking those away I think was crucial. We were taking actually too much damage. But what I could do is face my back here so he doesn't get a damage multiplier. And what we could do is just walk behind him and hit him again. Because we're at half health and he's barely at half health. So landing those steals there was actually important. I did not think he could actually kill us. But he would have had I not stolen. Okay, that's good. And we way out damage him here. So that was really dumb of him. I don't know why he did that. That's going to put us in the lead. Like, the fact that he put our 9,000 character at such a disadvantage is kind of crazy to me. I guess I could also steal his health up if I want to at this point. Yeah, that removing his weapon was so important for us to win. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we stole his 5,000 health boost. Not that it matters at this point. This is like way closer than this should be, given how strong our character is. I guess it shows how ridiculous enemy Bill is. Right, Chant? Just just a little silly. Should be a lot of mana. Oh my gosh. He can't even show us, chat. Achievement unlocked. We've conquered the Cave of War deal. We received God's Hand. Ah, oh, so now we have access to a secret area. So there we go. We did it, chat. We'll, we'll worry about that next time. Um, so I got God Hand, so I think that's one of the better items for Fist Users? Said to be able to vanquish Overlord. So yeah, we got a free upgrade for Rogue 9. It was nice. It means I can have one of our other Fist users actually powered up. Make gonna, you know what? I got gonna bite it, have a Fist item for real. Like I have anything better to do. Sure, we'll give them random weapons. Who cares? <laughs> right, chat? Like, this is fine. I don't care if they're proficient. Yeah, look at that attack power, chat. That attack power is kind of nuts, though. This is why I stole it, by the way. So, you know, you see our 9k character? I could give her to this. It hurts our stats a little bit, but I could put this on instead. So strong, but the downside is that minus that minus defense might actually be a problem. I'm not sure. Let's see, I guess. So if Sophie, Sophia's mirror could go back to whoever at this point. I don't think I need it. Get rid, of a, get rid of a Celestial for slightly better stats? I don't think that's worth it. Okay, I'm just checking out our remaining stats to see if it's worth it. 
sure. So I did steal another Amon Force. I don't think I need it. But it, nothing stops me from just doing small upgrades while I'm here. Okay, so that was the easy upgrade at least. Any other character that should be tankier, I guess? It really matters. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll put it on Flan, who cares? Um, Probably want to get another bandit hand in here. Their warehouse is mostly empty, which is good. This away for another bandit hand. Still have two left. We have a ton of eclairs in case we do story mode stuff. So the demon hall will basically be cameo fights for the most part. So that's why I don't want to do it right now. I want to save all the cameo fights for next time. But any kind of setup I need now is good. Also, how many digits of money is that? Okay, we're back. We're still at uh, nine digits of money. Just, you know, normal statement. So just lose track of it all, chat. It's like, how much do we have? The answer is yes. Too much. I might check for one more staff upgrade while I'm here. We do have some kind of bad staffs on our team. Why not? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I could give guns to the thieves if I want to. Not that it super matters. Need oh, you know what they should have? They should have uh, boots. They should have triple boots, and that's all I need on them. Um, sure, I'll buy a Beowulf, because who cares? One more gun for them, please. It would be nice. Good enough. And then whatever I have left over will just be, like, triple boots. <laughs> I prefer to get Falcon Shoes if we can, just because jump might actually matter if we do the item world later. I want to do the other challenges. And I will definitely take more Bandit Hands, because we need a ton of those if we're doing item world later. If. If. On Falcon Shoes. I'll take Ninja Shoes. The only big difference between them is jump totals. Like, I just prefer Falcon since it has better jump score overall. I don't really care about the stats otherwise. Should be good enough. That's... So every Falcon Shoes 10 move and jump, Ninja Shoes are just 7. Okay. I actually don't need that hit bonus. I thought my other weapon was worse, but it's actually better. Basically, everybody should have 900 plus in terms of stats. So at least this should be just an overall upgrade for everybody. Yeah. We could sell our remaining weapons if we don't need them. Alright, so we now have two, per two super throw characters, which is good. Don't need these items at all. Keep the sword for now if I want to. We could technically give the sword to one of these other characters that doesn't have a weapon. I just really wanted them to do damage, I could. Yeah, I think that's fun. Alright, so we need one more bandit hand in here. Otherwise, oh, feeling pretty good. We have a lot of attempts. I might even get rid of two of players just to put in two more bandit hands. Because honestly, at this point, we're going to take more damage than the players can deal with. But for item world, it is useful. So we'll leave it like this. Or if we're doing story mode with human characters, we'll swap it a little bit. 
So one thing I didn't really talk about at all, because it has not been relevant at all during our playthrough, but technically if we revisit areas, like for example the Cave of Ordeal 5, sometimes the monsters change. So for example, that zombie we fought earlier no longer exists there. I just wanted to draw attention to that, that there are map changes on revisits. It does happen with like story mode bosses, for example. Alright, let's get one more super level character, and I think we're good. I could try to clear story mode as is. Honestly, I'm not sure how hard that'll make them. But yeah, we need we need to clear way more chapters. Oh yeah, speaking of. Did I get an ally kill? Just curious. If I did, I did. If I didn't, it's more funny. Yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. Read my history, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. I have somehow not killed our own characters. That to me is really funny. So 32 hours in the game and we're ready to do all the bonus bosses. So right now, I could go to the end, but I'm going to choose not to. I'm going to get one more level 9,000. So we're going to have two 9Ks and then a 7K character mixed with a couple of 5,000s. Also, I need to rearrange the party order slightly here. Interesting, they only have 8 movement with triple shoes, so I think monks really are just kind of the best characters for general movement like this. I have no idea why I did that. That is actually really annoying that I missed that. I just got like too fast with the input, I think. That works at least. will still work. It's it's awkward, but I can make this work. Yeah. Thanks to sixth throw, this should always just work. We already know we don't need a 9,000 for capture, so I might as well just send them out here now. Just win them a little bit. We'll put everybody else away. Plus a couple characters there, which is a little annoying. As I would like to summon more. But yeah, we essentially know that this character by himself can capture. And we still have characters with extremely good stats, thanks to me statting up with them on force. So honestly, I don't even think we need to weaken them that much. But we'll still weaken them because it's funny. Having, like, these four characters buff should just be good enough, quote-unquote. Yeah, if I had made it so that... If I didn't have to throw awkwardly like I did before, I would have only had one less character death, so I would have been able to, uh... get five mages out here instead of four. I don't think it'll matter, because their stats are so high. But it could matter in the future. Try here. Frost here. Thanks to those buffs. Not feeling too worried. Yeah, like these characters alone should beat his stats completely. So the capture is guaranteed here. Half his health, so one more shot should put him in uh, capture range. As long as he doesn't do anything stupid. Welcome, Aubrey. You're doing well. <laughs> You're in a counter attack war with me? You're a fool. Right, chat? What an actual fool. Let's make sure to Braveheart at least once here. That way our damage should be consistent. Although what I should do is attack from here. Hopefully this didn't overbuff him. 
almost over buffed him. That would have been kind of bad. It looked like Soul Nomad, but I didn't notice it wasn't How's the Day. This is Disgaea 1. Things are going well otherwise. I think what I can do is put a couple mages back here. So we're about to get a super character. Uh, well, actually, just throw them with this character. I think this should be fine. There's no way we don't capture at this point. So now we should have another level 9000 monster. And that should be all the insurance I really need to beat every final fight in the game. So GGG at this point, chat. It's over. And they can try to fight me if they want to. It's not going to go well for them. I doubt Imperameter could get this kill as amusing as it would be. Oh, you know what? His resistance is only 5k. Hmm. I don't think he'll kill, but I can at least chip him out a little. Oh. Like, why am I not getting the rotate option? Oh, uh, yeah. A little, little too weak. I was hoping it would do like 8,000 or so. You could fire other characters, though. Any bonus XP? Oh, just a bow. I don't care about those. GG, enemy. Yeah. We now have two 9,000 characters. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty confident about our ability to beat the uber boss of this game. The only thing I'm going to do is rearrange manually these characters to go a little higher. So again, we have now two level 9,000s. We have a 7,000 as a backup. And our 5Ks actually aren't that bad. Everybody else at this point is now irrelevant to the playthrough. <laughs> Unless I feel like messing around. With all these Nekomatas, doesn't matter. They were useful briefly, and they can help with repositioning to kick people back. Yeah, unfortunately we got these snipers, which are definitely useless at this point. Whatever. Do something like this. I wish there was a slight. I wish there was a way to just kind of number them rather than slide them up, because I don't want to sort by level, because I'll not get the characters in the order that I want. I wish I could sort them by throw distance. So these characters are useful to have. So I want them to be above the middle of the map, if that makes sense. They should be like in here somewhere. So all these characters are our throw characters, and I can go straight to the bottom of the map, or at the bottom of the list to get our best characters. So I think this should be good enough to beat the game. I don't think I need anything else, other than maybe some equipment. So I guess I'll just go buy equipment, since we have like a million money from killing it earlier. I mean, I only have a casual 200 million or whatever. I mean, a gladiator on a Monforce? Okay. Ideally, there'd be double Gladiator, but I doubt we'll get that lucky. We'll check one more time. I mean, we got another Mon Force, but it doesn't matter. We, we don't need to equip anybody else at this point. I'm going to rearrange so that the character we just got will be second, not first, at the bottom of the list, just because the other character is double Testament, which is kind of hard to talk. There's another Falcon Shoe, actually, one of those. Uh, let's get some Infernal Armors, just to buff up their stats and resistances. Hopefully we get lucky here. Nope. Come on, Disgaea. We're at, like, the last bit of RNG. This is the last time we ever need to shop for the entirety of the game, because I don't need it anymore. Ooh, Super Resistance is actually huge. That might make a big difference with their survivability here. Yeah. But not quite 100,000 by himself. But 75,000 defense does mean that we have a character that can survive a hit if something goes wrong. I probably want Planeer to have better movement. In fact, I don't even care about Imperial Seal. Seven movement's probably good enough here. I think everybody else is accounted for at this point. It's everybody else's boots are, like, whatever at this point. Sure. 
So I shouldn't need to use the shop ever again, unless I feel like messing around. We have some pretty good equipment on all of our human characters. So I guess, chat, since we have time left over, I guess I might as well do some story mode just to see what it's like. I don't know if I'll do all of it on stream, but I'm kind of curious. How, how, how difficult is max difficulty story mode? I'm going to skip the story since we, we've played through the game already. Hmm. Honestly, maybe it would still be fun playing as the human characters right now. I could get, like, Rogue Nine out and do some damage. They're, like, Rogue Nine's level right now. Maybe this will work. Sure. I mean, if if I'm gonna one-shot them, I might as well one-shot them with characters chat enjoys. I mean, this is boating well. I'm constantly getting experience. I know I've statisticianed on Kerr. So if I really need his mana for something... Oh, look, 50 experience. That's cute. But at this point, I could just be the Kirk and Rogue Nine show. I don't think I need other characters. I could summon Chris or Parameter for kills at some point. Probably when we get to a boss. I don't think these enemies are worth our time otherwise. Oh, I forgot her. This was a bit weird. But like, for the most part, if they try to hit Rogue Nine here, it shouldn't really go well for them. Here goes. Fortunately, since we took off one of his belts, he does have enough defense to survive, like, a couple of strikes. And now I think he's almost the same level he was at the be like, midway through the stream. That'll save some time. Yeah, funny enough, their ability to hit AoE actually matters to me more than playing monsters. This might actually be the most efficient option for us. As long as we basically one-shot and work in AoE everything, I think it's actually worth it. John. So basically every swing is a kill. Ooh, oh this one seems fun. I wonder if Rogue Nine can survive this. Stats are pretty decent. So I could combine these characters together to give more XP. As we talked about before, the XP scaling in this game is that about around level 100, it, it becomes like if you fight three people that are level 100, it's the same as killing somebody that's level 300. But prior to that, this might actually make a difference. So I could summon Kirk just to combine them for kills. Get a little more XP out of it. Well, I'm low on SP. I love them leveling, doing a little happy dance, and then just killing them instantly. I love it. Wow, this character is actually pretty tanky. Yeah, they're level 90, I was gonna say. I think it's time for Imperimeter to come in. Although, oh, I have one Eclair. I guess I could heal our characters if we need to. Good job, Imperimeter. We'll have uh, Chris come in and just Eclair. Be fine.
Okay, killed one of the bow users, which is huge. And honestly, if I want to create characters under them, it should be not hard to do in a little bit. Nicely done. So again, I think more efficient than using the monsters, since most of these characters have pretty high counterattacks. More importantly, I have good AoEs. I could do stuff like this if I want to. Just off by one. So we'll go back to the nurse just to recover SP, but honestly at this point, looking pretty good. Poor, poor lone enemy chat. Bonk. We're on episode 4. I need to go 5 episodes if I want to unlock bonus stuff. I don't think that's too hard to do. We're not going to get another testament because of how I set up, because I wasn't originally intending to do it, but I didn't realize the bonus fight required us to go to a higher level. So whatever. I don't really need like a third testament at this point. We, we should be good enough. Both these characters looking pretty tanky. This counter attack war. We won we won the trade on that one. Damn, these characters are getting their their level scaling is kinda crazy. They were just level 50, now they're 90. So definitely the higher difficulty. Now it feels like we're playing Edna mode. But the level just jumps like an insane amount for no reason. Yeah, let's uh, go clean them up. You're weak to ice. Sucks to be you. See, this is where it's slower. If I can't one-shot, then it takes a little more time. But on the plus side, my proficiency is getting out of control. Goodbye. Poor, poor enemies. How cruel. So funny enough, because I didn't get an ally kill up to this point, I don't have to worry about accidentally getting a bad ending while button mashing the dialogue. Right, chat? Look how convenient that is. Why are you you want Don't you understand this is here we love love love. Hmm. The other thing I want to check before we end the session. I want to see how hard a promotion exam is for our current characters. Like, the fact that we might need to level for the first promotion exam to me is kind of funny. No, why? <laughs> Which is fine. So apparently, the bonus spots will be at level 9999 unless I lowered the difficulty of the bills. So I probably want to do that at the end of the session. But until we get to that point in the story, I actually can't lower the difficulty. So we have to get there at some point. Oh, Hogmiser. You're so pointless in the story. Master Lammy. What is it, Flock? The angels told me that the What do you hmm. <laughs> Listen carefully, Flon. The angels assume that they are demons do have love if we can guide them. Master Lamington, he is selfish, but I have discovered a it may be, but I have great so Master Lamington. There we go, Chad. We did it. Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef How. A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation. Sounds cheesy to me, dude. This week's dish, Cajun-style gumbo. And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad. Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, 
Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears! Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna, Episode 4! Etna, 120%! With a pitch of murderous intent! Yeah, hopeless, dude! It is kind of interesting in hindsight how many of these skits end up in the future games, by the way. We didn't really talk about it before, but uh, yeah, the whole thing with the Dark Chef, that is in a later Disgaea game, in its entirety. Our little flock. <laughs> so, what I don't understand, is it pot? That's it! So that'll, that'll be for another playthrough. <laughs> Still, we'll get to meet a Dark we... Chef. Don't demons know how to put... <gasps> what kind of book is this page? All... Oh! I'm kind of curious from the story mode perspective. Oh, I mustn't. Those cunning. Just how high level they'll end up getting. I imagine they'll get close to 300 before we get to the point where I can stop doing it with the harder enemy builds. Ah, there is only one person who makes a no. rotten. Episode 4 Gift from an Angel. Oh, that reminds me. I need to use the mouse for faster movement here. A pen? Yes. It and what are you trying to set one of us? No. If it. Hmm. On the plus side, I can also rapid click apparently to make the dialogue go faster. That works. No. Oops. But Unless I click out of the game. The seraph gave that pendant an angel trainee like me at this rate. Yeah, I will say that's definitely a downside about the PC version of the game. I really wish it just let you skip the dialogue if you've already beaten the game. Like, first time you play, no issues. Or even if they locked it into, like, a new game plus, I would have been fine with it. But the fact that we've, like, literally... We beat the main story and the Etna mode story. We should not have to sit through this dialogue. Which is unfortunate. This is where, like, easily an hour could end up going. So I think to spare chat, given how long this dialogue is... I might do some of this off stream. Are you trying? Hmm, fine. I was just more curious how strong they would end up getting. Let me make them when I... But we have a lot to go. Thank you, Lahad. You're an angel. You should. I do what? Remember. Okay, so let's hyperspeed movement. Uh, don't need to do anything there. Question. Hogmiser is 5 mana for some reason. Yeah, I'll see it pop up here once it gets activated. I couldn't... Oh, if I activated Printy Day, I think I would just actually game over. <laughs> I think I would... Oh, I think I would actually softlock myself. Because you can only play with Printies. Uh, my Printies are only level 2. And with stronger enemy build, I don't think there's any possible combination of things I can do to survive. But... I was just curious about our meter here. We actually have a surprising amount of meter. Yeah, like, look at this. I'll, I'll showcase this. I'm curious if Imperimeter can clear promotion exams. That'll, I think, be the final thing that we do on stream. Since that dialogue is just way too long to sit through. I'm very curious. How doable is it for Imperimeter to actually kill these? He's our best mage. Yeah, oh boy. Oh. I mean, if they don't move from spawn, I mean, that's kind of a... That's kind of a gotcha moment. Nice level up. I mean... It's been a while since we fought enemies that don't have long-range moves, but we'll take this. Listen. Just, we, we call that a freebie. Nice level up. I mean, the Ferrometer is just kind of stomping it, even with the massive level bonus. And then my turn. I want them to group up if they're going to move. Well, they actually hit me from there. That's right. They're such a high level, they actually have long range attacks. I need to. Re oh. Oh, I game over. That's unfortunate. 
The sleep there killed me, not the poison. Is that like a hard game over? Oh, it is a hard game over. Oh. I don't think I've ever lost in that before. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't matter, because I just saved. Like, the most I have to redo is, like, two promotion exams, which is, like, whatever. Huh. I didn't know that was a game over. I would have thought it would have just booted you out to the entrance, to be honest. So it looks like the next one would be hard for Imperameter. And not because they actually do damage, it's more that they put him to sleep. Interesting. So we'll at least get back up to there. It's only like a minute lost or two. Yeah, so in theory, what would happen? I'll, I'll do a hard save here. In theory, if a parameter were to level again, I'm just kind of curious where he would be stat-wise. Because he stored a decent amount of levels up, but not like, not like thousands. Like he needs to store several thousand for it to matter a lot more. Don't get me wrong. Because I think you could get up to 255 in a bonus stat, if I remember correctly. In a while. I think I've only had that happen once in a Disgaea game, and that involved the 999 cheese. Yeah, so this is the one where Imperameter could game over, because I want to check one more thing. And then we will, I guess, look at one more caves, and that'll be it. And then I'll do the rest off stream. To at least get us through the story, because the story takes forever, as I said before. So I'm surprised they can actually reach you from here. That's actually kind of annoying. See if this works. Oh. I'm actually just completely out of Okay, so because I'm completely out of range, they're not going to go towards me. That means I could try to figure out the max distance I could be to still land this. Weak against ice, huh? I mean, Imperameter's staff rank actually matters here. So I could kill this one by coming over a bit more. I probably do. One in the back row doesn't matter. It's more of the stupid fairy creatures, whatever they're called. They're called brownies in this or not. We're gonna move forward. Yeah, I wish there's a way to zip to the nearest enemy. They're hobbits, that's right. <laughs> I When I see this, I don't think hobbit. Alright, so we know they have a good distance. So I can move forward, I think, like, three spaces? Maybe back one? Just stay out of range of the other one? I think Omega Ice is cheaper than the other thing. So I might just hit them with Omega Wind. Or Omega Wind, I mean. Yeah, just to save it a little bit. Leveling here might matter. Please don't put me to sleep. Damn. I was hoping he was out of range. I was not. That's so sad, chat. Oh, wait. Did we wake up? Oh, wait. Never mind. We, we get to win. Okay, thank you. Stupid other enemy. But because we didn't get poison, GG, I guess. The parameter are barely able to beat this. But hey. We got more SP for the future. So curiosity now. I mean, honestly, a thousand, one thousand nine hundred seventy-one is still pretty high. So we never got a super pugilist at any point. Curiosity. So he'd have less imp than he does now, unless I get the higher ranks. So he now has about as many levels. I think he's got one more point per ability than Chris if I were to transmigrate again. This is where it wouldn't be worth it. So like the, the where and parameter and Chris are now, I would have to get a lot of levels to consider this a good bonus. Because you have to think, think about it this way. When we first made him, and parameter got I think maybe one or at most yeah, at most one point towards his stats. Then it became six. Then we bumped it all the way up to twelve with some baseline with his other stats. So if we're only going up like two ability points at this point, I don't think it would be worth it from like a normal gameplay standpoint. It's better just to stock up our levels at this point. Speaking of which. 
SSP's 966. That's actually huge. That is a lot of long distance brave hearts for multiple characters. So I'm feeling pretty good from that standpoint. We'll get through the dialogue here because I want to check a dialogue thing. Whatever. I, w I just want to see the Cape of Ordeal bonus real quick. What level are these characters? So this would be the one that you normally level up on. I think it's three. Yes. So normally we combine these together. You know what? That's actually not... What? Why are they so low level? Wait, are they actually lower level than the other ones? That's kind of funny. I'm looking at that. That'd be 21. Yeah, they have overall less levels, but I guess because it's 50% experience, it's basically like you doubled their level for no effort. Yeah, the weapons here don't really matter. If I really wanted to check out my stats, something like this. So he's strong enough to one shot. Okay, the fact that I'm auto-dodging, this is a good sign. Let's clean this up real quick. <laughs> Did I just level our best character? Nice. I mean, that's gonna help. Right, Chad? I mean, like, whatever we have for the boss is whatever we have for the uber boss. Like, at, like, what, maybe 10 more attack a level or 14? I guess it matters. The fact that he's able to slay this is very funny to me, though. Goodbye. If we really needed money, we could do that, but... Yeah. Funny enough, I think the Cape of Ordeals 2 was just better. At least from a money perspective. XP 50% might balance out a little bit. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in a Claire or two in here. I'm gonna do Story Mode off-stream since it's a lot of cutscenes I can't skip. Unless chat really wants me to play through it on stream, then I'll play through it on stream. But I probably won't add it to the YouTube play playthrough minimum. But I think at that point, we have to go through five more episodes, and then we're good to go. I mean, if chat wants to sit through it, I'll stream it, but I'll probably cut the recording <laughs> around this point. We'll give a sign off. I'm just looking to see if there's any other interesting drops. I don't think there is. Getting the God Hand was amusing. Oh, actually a good Amon. I will take that, actually. That should be an upgrade. Also, Hogmiser, you should not be here. Let's put him, like, in here. Like, I, I don't really care where he is as long as he's not within the first couple of sets. I think I'm good. Um, that might actually make a difference. Why does that Amon Force level more than- Oh, you know what it is. I forgot to mention one other mechanic in Disgaea 1, because I think that's the first time this has ever come up. So if you have items that match rarity, it actually gives you a stat bonus. So even though, like, this has less attack power, I gain attack power because it's actually boosting the stats of Infernal Armor, if you're wondering what's happening here. So there we go, Chad. We had something that will eventually come up if we get, like, the rarest items. But hey, uh, that's just kind of free stats for our character. I'm not gonna say no. Yeah, so it's kind of for the people that want to hyper excessively grind it out. I could just find nothing but 252 ones. Like, see how this is a 199? If I had another 252, I could just stack them and basically get some uber stats out of it. I don't think I have any other 252s. Remember. I do. It's not an armor. Yeah, I don't think so. So, if you have an obsession with making sure... Oh, yeah, we were close with Fenrir. If you have an obsession with making all the rarities match, you try to get them basically to 1 or 0, since 1 to 10 is basically the legendary rarity. It's a little easier to match these. Like, see how Stinky Jacket could come here? I could technically try to combine these two to see what it does to our stats. So it's like, 
Unfortunately, Royal Ring adds like 150 hits, so it's not going to be as noticeable. But you'll notice I'm only dropping like 60 total. So in theory, you could stack them. It's not super relevant most of the time. I'm just kind of surprised it happened on stream, honestly. There's going to be one opportunity where we see that with one of the bonus characters, since I think all the rarities match, so they end up with like super stats. But otherwise, like, I don't know, what are the odds of me seeing 252 again on a good item? Probably not that great. I'll check like a couple items to see if I could get better boots. I think that's all I'm really looking for at this point. If I happen to get another perfect 252, I will go pick it up. Or if I memorize the testament level, I could also go pick those up. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. 253 is close, but close doesn't count. We'll try one more time, just to see if we could get the rarity. Because it would be funny if we managed to match the rarity. I forget if it's, like, multiplicative or not. Like, if 3 do it, if it's, like, 1.2 for all the stats. It very rarely comes up. Alright, uh, last shop usage. Possibly the game. Unless- oh, actually, I need more bandit hands. I lied. I need more bandit hands. We're gonna need to steal a lot later. Do a couple more. Okay, so with this, I should not have to shop next time at all. We can just do nothing but story. I can upgrade most of my boots across our characters, which would matter if we want to do the item god later. 255, 251, what a tease. And final shop attempt. More bandit hands could be useful later. One more falcon shoe. And most of these are just kind of mediocre. Super speed on an armor is kind of entertaining. I might take that, actually. So I could put it on Rogue 9, for example. Oop. We lose a little bit of attack, but he becomes way speedier and tankier. I think that's kind of worth it, actually. We've seen that his dodging isn't like 100%, so it might be worth pumping it up a bit more. And there we go. Another 100k attacker, pretty good. And the fact that it puts his defense at almost 80k is hilarious, because I really don't think anything other than an uber boss can hurt him at this point for any serious damage. Like magic-wise, I might take damage, but other means of damage, I don't think so. Alright, so for our remaining characters, let us oops. Let us just Falcon Shoe them. A lot of health on this character. If I run out, it's not the end of the world. Honestly, over Imperial Seal, I think I'll take a Ninja Shoe. At this point, I just need them for movement. Give the Prinny's movement if I want to. I don't think it really matters. Sure. You know what? One of our printies can just have a Mon Force for no reason. Who cares? Right, chat? All is right with the world now. I think that's basically everything. I don't need to use the shop anymore. We have a lot of backup bandit hands. We have some healing items for item world stuff if I want to. We have a useless bow, which I should just sell. And there's no point to shopping anymore. I don't know if I want the 320 attack belt on any character. I guess I could check that, but that's, I think, it. Oh, I've just improved the belt he's already using. I guess that works. I 
of our random level characters. Sure, if you can cure a belt to them, maybe it matters. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we have a wide range of high level characters. We have two that are guaranteed, I think, going to fight the wall. I have a backup character if something goes wrong. I have other characters that could help with stealing. Like, 5931 is a pretty high level, so you have to think about it this way. Most bosses in this game that are bonus cameo bosses without the enemy bill are going to have less than 5,000 levels, so I'm always going to have a pretty big level advantage over them. So any character that's over 5k, I think we'll have a 50% chance. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chances to steal on most characters, which is a lot with 50-50s. So, yeah, this should be pretty significant. And the Chakra Belt here puts us at an insane amount of attack score. We could see if we can really break our damage, since we can get to... Braveheart allows for 20% extra per cast, it stacks 5 times. So I could end up with 240,000 attack, and that should be more than enough to clear any boss in the game by itself. And again, this character might level, because we're going to fight so many enemies with this character. We've already gone up one level, which doesn't make a big difference on his stats, but hey, I mean, like another 200 or 400 in Braveheart doesn't hurt, I guess. And him being at almost 50k defense is nice. We've seen he can take damage from other enemies, and the resist score is actually pretty bad for his level, so he's very likely to die to, like, bonus bosses with magic, if I leave him alone. But we shouldn't leave him alone, so we should be fine. Okay, chat, so I don't think there's anything else I really want to show off. I just have to grind the story mode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause here for now. I'm going to play some of it off stream, since I'm assuming chat does not want to watch me go through story mode slowly. But I got a good idea of at least where our characters are. I could probably just showcase where they are level-wise, so I'll very briefly show us where we are. Most of them are in like the low 30s, the thieves are level 1. Parameter is 68, Chris is 52. I'm going to see how far I can get with just the human characters. The fact that Kirk is already 72 is kind of funny to me. Because think about it earlier, chat. Like, between two entire playthroughs, he only hit 111. And he's already almost caught up to that point already. So Kirk could honestly probably beat his old total significantly in terms of damage. Granted, he no longer has a testament, which does negate his stats quite a bit. But he now also has galactic muscle for tanking. So take that as you will, I guess, <laughs> question mark. So his attack power is almost as good as it was when he was 112 and had double testament. Because I'm pretty sure he broke 5k last time. And given that he's getting, like, what, more than 30 attack per level? Another 30 levels would put him pretty close to where he was before, while just having generally better stats. So yeah, I'll do that, I think, off stream. So for now, chat, let's chat. From the standpoint of, I guess, the playthrough, I would expect the next session to be pretty much 100% bonus stage content, so no grinding, nothing else. I, I don't know how long it will take to do the story mode stuff. I do want to make sure I record at least the dialogue for unlocking the uber boss, so I might save right before we do it. The only thing that might have to happen on Thursday is the lower enemy level bill, so that way we have it more normalized. But technically I could just see how hard they are without lowering their level, because we are that strong, so I don't know. We'll see if it's necessary. We'll, we'll definitely need to lower it by the time we get to the uber boss, but honestly the first set of bosses, I don't know if them being like level 6000 or even 7000 matters to us at all. I don't think it does. Given that we have two level 9000s, I, I don't think it matters. If we had only one, I would be like, hmm. And if I'm really not sure, I could even just get another 9000 monster in our party. But as I said before, we have a 7k that should be good enough as a backup. But anyway, chat, let's pause here. Uh, next time we're going to do as much bonus content as we can fit in. And then I think that will be one of the final sessions of Disgaea. So look forward to that. But for now, let's say goodbye to our bonus session time here today. So thank you all that joined. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And hope to see you again next time.